Those of you who are beginning on the Respicardia implant adventure, uh, here's a couple more tips. One of them is uh, if you can't find where the left pericardiophrenic vein enters the left brachiocephalic vein. And fortunately, it turns out that in many patients, the inferior phrenic vein actually feeds back up into the left pericardiophrenic vein. And so what you can do um, is you can take a catheter, and in this case, I'm using uh, a Merit um, standard curve that we use for the CS. And again, be smart, use an injection system, don't attach uh, the wire, don't attach the syringe to the end of the, of the uh, catheter. That's just making work extra hard. So you come down here and you go below the diaphragm and you, and you look around and try to find um, the pericardiophrenic vein, the left inferior pericardiophrenic vein. And then from there, you can inject that um, uh, and then see where you might need to go. Uh, 